Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. In today's video guide, I'm going to show you how you can obtain the four Chaos Nexomon, which were said to be predecessors to Vados. In order to unlock these, you're gonna have to find the four Chaos Discs, which we did do on stream, and this video will be showing you how to get as well. So yeah, let's dive in. Okay, so if you don't know, these Discs of Chaos can be accessed once the Abyssals DLC is installed, and they can be found scattered across the world, both within the Abyssals area and mainland. For the first disc, aka the Fulmina disc, you're going to need to head to the optional cave area that contains no tyrants and the dark areas. Follow my character northbound until you reach Amelie's secret lab. It can be found in one of the computers. For the second disc, head to the ghost maze near the final boss area and follow my character accordingly. This will take you to a special lab that belongs to Logan. Once you enter the lab, you can find the disc in a computer just like the last one. For the third disc, you can talk to Logan in the main camp area. I'm not sure if this has to be done before locating it, but just do it just in case. Then head over to Cadium via the spawn point. Head east until you reach the abandoned house and the disc can be found in the basement. For the final disc, head to Lataria, then go north to the prison. You can find Amelie's cell in the same spot you talked to her when completing the Vado side quest. Go ahead and communicate with her And then head to the door all the way over to the right after going outside. Follow my character until you find the storage room where the final disc is present. After getting all four of these discs, head to the extinction guy in Parham who releases the extinct Nexomon like Blizzstrong and he'll actually recreate these Nexomon for you as well. He'll then tell you that he relocated them to the Abyssals area and then it seems like they're pretty much anywhere from what I can tell. On a side note, just to be triple sure, make sure you talk to the witch at the Immortal Citadel and get her to release all the legendary copies. You'll need her to do this anyway for the Abyssal Tyrants to spawn, so just to be super, super, super sure, make sure you do that. So yeah, once you get back to the DLC area, you can find them all over the place. I'll quickly show you on screen where I personally found them, but again, I don't think it matters because I've seen multiple instances of each legendary in different spots. You can keep catching them over and over again as well. So yeah, I do hope this video is useful to you guys. Definitely make sure to like and subscribe if it was. You can also check out my Twitter, my Discord, my Patreon, all links below. Special thanks to my patrons, especially Drogos, Dark Persona, Steelcase, and Jim Hamilton and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.